Hello everyone, my name is Pixelriffs and welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Guide. I hope you guys are having a good day. In today's episode, I'm going to attempt to answer 303 questions that you have submitted about Minecraft. Let's get right to it. Do you ever feel bad about forcing your Minecraft character to eat the same food over and over again? Yeah, don't worry, I've had a balanced diet. How does the score work that shows up when you die? The score is the total amount of experience you've collected since your last death, including anything you spent on enchanting or repairs. What is the best way to transport villagers? Use minecarts or boats. Does infinity work on potion tipped arrows? Nope, only regular ones. Why does the nether have a bedrock ceiling? The nether is meant to be a hell dimension, so it's kind of implied that the bedrock ceiling of the nether is the bedrock floor of the overworld. How do you find a skeleton or zombie spawner? Most of the time you'll just stumble into them, but some mapping tools will let you find them, and you can always listen out for zombie or skeleton noises in caves. What are research labs in snow biomes? Some igloos generate with a trap door hidden under the carpet. This leads down to a research lab where you'll find hints about how you can cure zombie villagers. How does the game manage to spawn a zombie villager under igloos? Entities can actually be part of pre-generated structures. You can try this yourself with structure blocks. Does killing the wandering trader affect the trades of normal villagers? Actually no, which is good because his trades are the worst. What is the highest Y level at which the world naturally generates? It depends on the world, but some shattered savanna biomes can reach up to Y200. Can a snow golem live in the nether using fire resistance effects? Yes, but once it aggroes the pigmen, it'll die pretty quickly. In the next 10 seconds, can you explain quasi-connectivity? A quirk of how redstone is programmed in Java allows for components like pistons to be powered diagonally. Basically, they get power from anything which would power the space above them, regardless of whether or not there's a block there. Which do you think is harder, the wither or the ender dragon? The wither is harder in a fair fight, but easier to cheese. And which one do you think you should fight first? I usually fight the dragon first because I like to get shulker boxes before I get a beacon. What are the chances of a baby chicken spawning when you throw an egg? One in eight, although sometimes you get none, and sometimes you get four for the price of one. Is it possible to hatch the dragon egg? No, the dragon egg is just a trophy item. Do foxes get the positive and negative effects of food when they eat it? Yes, I poisoned this fox with a poisonous potato. They also teleport if you give them chorus fruit. What determines the XP cost to fix tools with the mending enchantment? Mending repairs two durability per XP orb, although sometimes the orbs stack. What's the best way to grind out a large amount of emeralds? It depends what you're farming. Farmers have good trades. Melons and pumpkins are a safe bet. What happens if two people flying with elytra run into each other in mid-air? Nothing happens. Entity collision doesn't cause damage unless there are lots of entities occupying a single block. How big is the end dimension? It's the same as the overworld, 60 million blocks square. Does that mean the number of end cities is limited? Technically yes, but you'd probably run out of patience and time before you ran out of end cities. How rare is an end ship? According to the Minecraft wiki, an end city has a ship on average 80% of the time. I know, I didn't believe it either, but statistically they're quite likely. Do mobs spawn differently in each difficulty? Mobs spawn with armor on normal and hard difficulty, but they all show up on any difficulty. There aren't any mobs which are unique to higher difficulty settings. Do you have any tips on how to build circles? Use a circle generation tool like plots.co.uk. What are the best ways to go caving without feeling the sense of being lost or confused? Always place torches on one side of the cave wall, that way you can follow the torches on the opposite side to get back. Is it possible to trap an enderman without it teleporting away? Yes, endermen trapped in boats or minecarts will stay there. What is the most difficult item to get your hands on in survival Minecraft? Probably a beacon. It requires you to get three wither skeleton skulls plus the soul sand, defeat the wither, and also have glass and obsidian for the recipe. Plus, if you're on bedrock edition, the fight sucks. How do I get the most out of playing in peaceful mode? Do lots of villager trading for resources, raid dungeons and generated structures if you want mob drops, start a bone meal farm with crops, and a slime farm with sneezing pandas. Are the villager curing trades temporary, or do they always stay like that? Villager prices will always be adjusted if you've cured them from zombification, but their prices can still go up and down because of the supply and demand mechanics. How much XP is there in one level? You only need 7 XP to reach level 1, but the amount increases as you gain more levels. What determines how many of your levels you'll be able to pick back up after you die? Players drop a maximum of 100 XP when they die, which gets you back to level 7 and halfway to level 8. Is the Elder Guardian actually a boss mob? Mm, I think of it as a mini boss. Is there a potion effect you'd like to see added to the game? The potential for trolling is quite high, but I still think a potion of levitation would be pretty cool. Is fishing for mending better than getting mending with a villager? Nope, villagers are way better. You can guarantee multiple trades from a villager and work safe make it really easy to re-roll their trades. If you stare at an enderman while flying, does it aggro on you? Yes, but if there are no blocks around, it can't teleport to you and attack you. Is it better to build a piston bolt track or an ice path for faster transport? Boats and ice is faster, but piston bolts are hands-free and they work better diagonally. It depends what you prefer. Is it possible to make a fully automatic wheat farm? Yes, villagers can farm crops for you. 
What is some important advice you can give about iron farms and villager mechanics? Make sure your villagers can sleep. If you skip through the night and they haven't slept, they will stop making iron golems. How do you get so many levels in a short amount of time? Experience farms and villager trading. Does a trident with loyalty still come back to you if thrown into lava or the void? Lava, yes. The void, no. Although that's changing in the next update. What is the most important rule when raiding a woodland mansion? Shoot the evokers from a distance. What is considered cheating in Minecraft? I consider cheating entirely subjective. It's really up to you and whoever else you choose to share the game with. With. What are some important features that players who haven't played in a while should know? Swimming is a thing, flying is a thing, and items float now. What new biome would you like to see added in a future update? I would love a flowering cherry forest. Can you create a fast sugarcane farm by replacing the slowest growing stalks until they all grow fast? No, basically all crop growth is decided randomly. Can you put Mending and Infinity on the same bow? Mending and Infinity are mutually exclusive in survival, but you can combine them in creative mode. What block or item do you wish a villager would trade, or what is a block you wish was renewable? Wandering traders already trade sand, but I wish they traded you more sand. Can villagers sleep in the nether or the end? If so, what happens? Villagers use beds in time with the day-night cycle in the overworld, and it works fine. Beds don't explode unless a player clicks on them. How do you optimize your use of the offhand? First, play Java Edition. Next, adapt Adapt to the situation. Shields for combat, torches for caving, seeds for farming, blocks for building. What do the different curses do and how can you get them? Curse of Binding and Curse of Vanishing can be traded from villagers or found on books or equipment in loot chests. Armor with Binding prevents you from taking off the equipped armor and anything with Vanishing despawns if you die while it's in your inventory. Does that mean Curse of Binding stays on you forever in hardcore? Armor with Curse of Binding can still run out of durability and break. It does require you taking damage, but if you manage your health well, you should be fine. What farms work constantly in the spawn chunks? Anything which doesn't require the player to be nearby. Iron farms and auto smelters are good examples of this. Can mobs go through the end portal? Yes, I brought some villages and animals to the end and started a village there. What farms should I build first for a fast and easy beginning to the game? Get a cow farm for leather and a sugarcane farm for paper. That'll get you started with enchanting. What is the best early game food source? The steak from that cow farm I mentioned should satisfy your hunger. Do bubble elevators work sideways? Nope, that's what water streams are for. What exactly is pack spawning and how does it work? When the game decides to spawn mobs, it can spawn them in larger numbers if the game thinks there is adequate space. Can you farm iron from zombies instead of iron golems? Zombies can drop iron when killed by the player, so it's technically possible, but way slower. What is better to hold in your offhand, a shield or a totem of undying? Hardcore players usually want a totem of undying because they only have one life, but I'd argue a shield can save your life multiple times where a totem only saves you once. Do we still need a haste 2 beacon to instamine now that we have netherite tools? Yes, netherite tools are faster than diamond, but still nowhere near fast enough to instamine stone without a beacon. Besides haste 2, what is the best combo of effects to have on a beacon? Resistance and regeneration. You can get strength, jump boost, and swiftness with 8 minute duration potions if you need them. Can you create an ender dragon power? powered ender pearl farm. The dragon will attack endermen, so in theory it's possible, but spawning the dragon destroys the portal you'd use to leave the end, so the only way to return to the overworld is to die and respawn. Not very practical. Do villagers need access to open sky to refresh their trades or accept a workstation? Not right now, they just need to be able to access the workstation during the day. You can make a village in a cave and it'd still work fine. Can you break a piston with any tool or even your fist? Yes, there is no preferred tool for breaking a piston. Will you make a raid farm? Yes, I designed my own from scratch, starting in episode 238 and ending in episode 241. How do I prepare for a big project? Gather as many resources as you can beforehand. Planning ahead will allow you to focus on the project for longer stretches of time. If two players AFK near a spawner instead of one, will the spawner create double the amount of mobs? No, a spawner produces the same amount when it's activated, regardless of how many players are nearby. Given the choice, would you pick Soul Speed or Depth Strider? Definitely Depth Strider. I work in and around water way more than I use Soul Sand. What is the best way to explore? Get Elytra, wear Elytra, Fly. After you raid a woodland mansion, do Vindicators and Evokers still spawn there? Nope, woodland mansion mobs do not despawn or respawn. The only way to farm illagers is to start a raid. Can an army of snow golems defeat the ender dragon? Nope, snowballs don't damage the ender dragon after Minecraft 1.9. Is it better to repair a diamond pick with diamonds or another diamond pick? A fully worn out diamond pick needs four diamonds in order to repair it fully, but you only need three diamonds to make another diamond pick and combine them. What is your favorite subtitle in Minecraft? Mushroom gets milked suspiciously. How do you respawn? the ender dragon. Craft four end crystals, place them on the center blocks here around the outside of the portal, and watch the light show happen. Is it worth getting a diamond or netherite hoe besides the achievement? Yeah, especially now hoes can be used to break leaves, nether wart blocks, sponges, and other stuff in 1.16. Should you carry a hoe with you now it's been updated to be more useful? I don't know if I'll have one on my hotbar all the time, but I can definitely see myself using them more often. What mobs are best for a multi-spawner mob farm? I pretty much always prefer having skeletons because bone meal is super useful, but sometimes variety is good too. How do you get capes? 
Capes were given to attendees of in-person Minecon events prior to 2017 when the event became a live stream. A few people also have them for making special contributions to the game. Can you change the appearance of Elytra with a cape? Yes, although I don't have one. You can also do that with Optifine in a resource pack. What is the rarest block in the game? It's difficult to say exactly. Emerald ore is one of the rarest ores because it only occurs in mountain biomes. Bone blocks are also rare to generate because fossils are pretty infrequent. There's also only one dragon egg per world on Java Edition, if you count that as a block. Can the Wither destroy obsidian? Yes, on Java Edition, if the Wither senses it's trapped, it will break the blocks around it, with the exception of unbreakable blocks like bedrock and end portal frames. Can you get player heads without commands? Some mob heads can be obtained by using charged creepers to blow up the mob, and you get wither skeleton skulls and dragon heads another way, but player heads have to come from commands, or something else that uses command language like a data pack. What is the best height to AFK from a mob spawner farm? 24 blocks away from the farm, and 128 blocks away from any other spawnable space. Where do you find villages? Villages can be found in plains, savannah, taiga, desert, and snow biomes. Do XP orbs despawn? Yes, if they can't reach the player, they do fade after a short amount of time. Why do some items only stack to 16? In some cases it's kind of arbitrary, in other cases it's for game balance, like with enderpearls. Also, why do liquids and stews not stack? That'd be too messy. How do you organise your inventory? Like this? Is it true that evokers can change the colour of a blue sheep into a red sheep? This sounds like a job for my creative world, but yes, this easter egg is a reference to the Age of Empires video games. Can zombies pick up and use a totem of undying? Absolutely they can, which is yet another reason not to leave these things lying around. <laughs> do phantoms spawn in peaceful mode? No, uh, phantoms are hostile mobs and peaceful mode prevents hostile mobs from spawning. Can you make a phantom farm? Yes, the main reason I haven't done it in the survival guide is because I usually sleep all the time. Why don't cows and pigs despawn in a manual animal farm? Passive mobs don't despawn in general because then it'd be very difficult to farm them for food. How many blocks do you need for a beacon base? 9, 34, 83, or 164, plus something to activate it with. At diamond level, do diamonds generate closer to coal deposits just like in real life? Nope. Finding lava also isn't a guarantee of finding diamonds, it's just that lava lakes form at Y11 and that's where a lot of people like to dig. Are mob farms more efficient if you make the area around the farm spawn proof to maximise spawning potential? I mean, it sounds like you already know the answer to that one. Can you set up a beacon on the nether roof? Yes, you can also set up a beacon inside the nether itself as long as there's only bedrock above it. Sometimes there's netherrack hidden in the bedrock ceiling though. Can a hopper take something out of an ender chest? No, because on multiplayer servers there'd be no way of knowing whose ender chest it was pulling it from. What are the spawn chunks? The area where the player spawns for the first time and where you respawn if your bed is missing or obstructed. Also a podcast I do with my friend Joel. How do you make markers on a map? Rename a banner in an anvil, place it in the world, right click the banner with the map. Do villagers have fingers? Do they even have hands? What is your favourite easter egg in Minecraft? Dinner bee? What's the fastest way to level up for enchantments? If you don't have a mob farm yet, go mining for quartz. Can strays drop with the skeleton skulls when killed by a charged creeper? That is a bedrock edition bug and it does not work that way in Java. Do shulkers respawn? Nope, if you want more you've got to find more end cities. What do you consider the worst non-boss mob? Silverfish. What is the most useful block in Minecraft? Yeah, I'm gonna go with crafting table on this one. If you wanted to stay absolutely mob free in your base and make it creeper proof, then what block would you use to build it? Eh, something with slabs. Mobs don't spawn on half blocks. Can you brew a potion of decay? No, they only exist on bedrock edition and they can't be brewed. You can only find them in witch huts. If you take away the block a shulker is attached to and there aren't any other blocks it can teleport to, will it just fall? Nope, they just kinda hang in the air. Do you think sleeping in beds destroys the difficulty and purpose of bases in Minecraft? No, it's not always possible to reach a bed, you can choose not to use one, but sometimes you need to make it daytime. Is Frostwalker useful? I don't use it much myself, but it's pretty cool. How much stone could a stone pick pick if a stone pick could pick stone? 131. Can pillager patrols despawn? Yes, and I frequently fly away from them so I don't have to deal with bad omen. Why can't we make an infinite lava source in the nether? Lava is destructive and it's also a very good source of fuel. Make Making it infinitely renewable would be game breaking in a couple of ways. Is there a way to bring the ender dragon to the overworld? Not without commands, and you'd better be ready for it to destroy everything. Is it possible to take less damage from the void with resistance too? Yes, but it still won't save you. Continuously eating golden apples can save you, but you just continue falling until the game crashes. Which Minecraft update has been your favourite? I think 1.13, the update Aquatic, was my favourite so far, but I am really looking forward to the Nether update. How does the kelp age system work? The top of the plant has an age randomly assigned to it between 0 and 25. The plant grows, adding one point of age per block until the top block reaches age 25, then it stops growing. What is your favourite bug?
bow enchantment. Infinity, why does combining items and repairing enchanted tools become too expensive? I think it's to encourage you to create new tools, but then again, mending exists. Do beacons affect mobs? No, beacons will only ever have an effect on players. How do villagers know how many iron golems to have? Villagers create iron golems when there are a group of three or more villagers scared by a hostile mob. They're supposed to detect when there's already a golem around, but these mechanics can be fooled pretty easily. Can we use any type of pickaxe with haste, and do they all have the same speed? If you want to instamine stone, you need to use a diamond or netherite pickaxe with efficiency 5, but some other blocks can be instamined without those materials. Does firing an enderpearl from a dispenser teleport you where the enderpearl landed? No, dispensers don't fire enderpearls the same way a player would throw them. Can you tame a fox? Uh, kind of. You can make foxes trust you by feeding them the sweet berries, and if you breed the foxes, their children will trust you. They won't follow you around unless you've got them on a lead, though. What differentiates Minecraft from other games that makes it so good to you? The capacity for creativity and how much the community values cooperation over competition. What are the best and worst items to put mending on? The best is probably a elytra or your favourite pickaxe. The worst? Carrot on a stick. What is the biggest game changer for making buildings and structures look good? Leaves! Is the Bane of Arthropods enchantment worth it? If you have a spider farm, yes, otherwise not really. How do you see the durability of your tools? Pressing F3 and H enables advanced tooltips. Again, this is a Java-only feature. Can you farm obsidian automatically? Not really, it can't be broken automatically, only a player can do that. I had to farm all of this by hand. Would the Wither fight the Ender Dragon? It gets too distracted by Endermen. How far can a full beacon cover? The radius goes to 50 blocks either side and a 50 block radius below, but vertically it goes to build height. Is it possible to copy banner designs from one banner to another? If you start with a blank banner of the same base colour, yes. Can mob spawners be moved using slime blocks? No, mob spawners cannot be moved by anything in default Minecraft. Does Minecraft have any official lore? Aside from the end poem, there is no in-game lore. Apparently Mojang has some sort of internal lore, but they like players to make up their own theories. How can I protect my sheep from wolves? Put them in a box. How do you plan out your farms and redstone machines? Sometimes I build them in creative first, other times I just figure out the mechanics on the fly from what I know and the theory. Other times I pick up what I can from other creators and I try my best to give credit where I do that. If the Minecraft world is infinite, how can the sun revolve around it? Because the sky is more infinite. Can you still craft chain armor with fire? Nope, you either trade it from armorers or get it as a drop from mobs. Can you move chests using pistons? Not in Java edition. You can in bedrock though. Will netherite replace diamonds? Eh, not really. You need diamond equipment to make netherite equipment anyway. How do you create a backup? of a world. You can do it from the single player world menu, just click edit and click make backup, or you can find your Minecraft saves folder and zip it into an archive from there. Hey, can Enderman attack you with blocks? No, they just hit you with their hands. Do abandoned villages only show up in bedrock? They're a thing in Java too, they're just pretty rare. What's the best way to deal with ghasts in a soul sand valley? Get behind cover, build yourself a shelter, or dig a hole, whatever you can manage really. Where do you find your screenshots on your computer when you press F2 in game? Go back to the world menu, hit edit, and you'll find open world folder, you can find the screenshots folder in there. How many diamonds do you have in your world? About this many, plus some equipment and some diamond ore I haven't fortuned yet. What levels do fossils spawn and what biomes do they spawn in? You'll find them underground, in desert or swamp biomes. How do I build a piston double extender? Two sticky pistons, two observers, a block and a button. Why are mobs called mobs? Mob is short for mobile, it's basically any moving entity that has AI. What is the most efficient way of using an ender chest? Fill it with shulker boxes to maximize the space. In your opinion, what is the best resource pack to use in Minecraft? Default, because if your builds look good in default, you know they're good builds. Is there a way to disable mob burning in Minecraft? There aren't game rules for it, but you could probably give all mobs a fire resistance effect using command blocks or data packs. Which places are most likely to have enchanted golden apples? Dungeon and woodland mansion chests have a 3.1 1% chance, but if they're difficult to find, I recommend trying desert temples. Can we tame the Ravager? No, but they make a pretty cool crop farm. What is the most efficient way to get sea lanterns? Steal them from ocean monuments, I guess, and if you haven't got enough after that, set up a guardian farm. What's the durability of an anvil? Anvils don't have durability as such, they just have a chance to break a little bit more each time you use them. So how many times can an anvil be used before it breaks? An average anvil can be used about 25 times, but it can last longer or shorter than that. Can you make a lapis lazuli farm? Lapis can be bought pretty easily from cleric villagers. If you craft a dispenser with an enchanted bow, will the effect supply? They will not, which is a shame because infinity dispensers would be dope. Can sugarcane grow next to flowing water? It can. Does fortune affect sapling drop rate? Yes, it's worth using on jungle trees which have a lower drop rate, and dark oak trees where you need four saplings per tree. What is a good way for me to get a good slime supply? Either find a slime chunk underground, or make regular trips to swamps during a full moon. How do you tackle new building challenges? 
Draft stuff in creative first, work from reference material if you can, and don't feel bad about checking out other people's builds for inspiration. Can you name yourself Dinnerbone? Unfortunately, only Dinnerbone has that privilege. How do you cure a zombified villager? Throw a splash potion of weakness at it, then feed it a golden apple and make sure it doesn't burn in the sunlight or get attacked by other zombies while it cures. Do honey blocks prevent fall damage? They reduce it, but they don't prevent it. Do you think Mojang will add jungle and swamp villages? No, I think jungle and swamp villages are there for players to find just by chance, by breeding. What useful contraptions can slime blocks be used for? Flying machines and TNT duplicators are really useful once you start using them. Can you silk touch end portal blocks? Nope. End portal blocks are one of the few blocks that cannot be broken or acquired in survival. Can item frames be used in redstone mechanisms? Yes, comparators can be used to measure the rotation of an item in an item frame. What is the use or purpose of a zombie horse? Zombie horses aren't in survival mode. You can summon them using a spawn egg, but they just act like a horse. What will the locate biome command actually do? It gives you the coordinates for the nearest biome you name in the command. Can you place falling blocks like sand or gravel with a dispenser? Nope, dispensers can't really place blocks for you. Can endermen see you through glass? Glass, and is it possible for them to teleport through blocks to attack you? Endermen can't see you through glass, but when they teleport they just choose a valid space, so anywhere with a 3 block height available is fair game. What are the best uses of the note block and jukebox blocks? Note blocks are really useful for redstone contraptions and interactions with observers, whereas jukeboxes can get a comparator readout depending on which music disc is playing. Why don't the leaves in the ender ender disappear like they do when you chop down a tree? Player placed leaf blocks don't decay, once you shear them and place them they are there permanently. Are cave spiders a separate mob from normal spiders? Yes, they're smaller, bluer, and they poison you. Is it true that sugarcane grows faster on sand than on grass? Nope, that is a very long-standing myth, and it is entirely false. Is thorns an enchantment we should have on our armor? I tend to avoid thorns on my armor because if you're trying to move mobs around and they hit you, it's kind of annoying when they take unnecessary damage. If you throw an Eye of Ender in the nether or the end, what happens? It does nothing. In fact, you can't even throw it. Do swiftness potions affect flying with elytra? Swiftness only affects your running speed, it doesn't make you fly faster. Does jump boost affect horses? Swiftness can be used to make horses run faster, but jump boost has no effect. What are the conditions for zombies picking up items? It is randomly decided whether zombies can pick up items or not, but they can trade items they're holding for items which are more effective or do more damage. What's the best way of finding ancient debris? Instamine netherrack with an efficiency pickaxe, or blow a lot of it up with TNT and beds. Watch out for lava though! Can you come up with a use for poisonous potatoes? They could be used to brew an equally useless potion. Is there any use for honey except the advancements? Honey blocks are actually really useful for large slime block contraptions, because they act like slime blocks, but they don't stick to slime blocks. What do you recommend bringing with you when you go to fight the dragon? A bow, a sword, the best armor you've got, a bucket of water, and slow falling potions. Maybe a carved pumpkin if you don't want to aggro the enderman. Why don't you use TNT to remove more stuff? Crafting TNT takes a lot of sand, and I prefer to save sand for concrete powder. Plus, even though it drops 100% of the blocks it destroys, it still destroys item entities, so sequential TNT explosions can leave you with no resources. Is it possible to make a mutton farm with the mechanic that wolves kill sheep? Yes, just trap an untamed wolf somewhere and funnel the sheep in using water streams like I did with this Vindicator. Are bricks now a usable building block due to stonemason villages? Bricks were always a usable building block, I feel like some people just didn't get on with the texture. Do you get a mule from breeding a horse and a donkey? Yes. How do I keep my base big yet practical? Get used to flying around or come up with some sort of transport system. Can you use a slime block to launch a minecart? Yes. How do I make a self-refueling super smelter after zero ticking is removed? Farm a bunch of wood and make a charcoal generator. What do the luck and bad luck statuses do, and where can you get them in survival? Luck and bad luck affect loot tables for chests that appear in generated structures, but you can't get them in survival. They're only obtainable via commands. There are luck arrows and luck potions in the creative inventory though. Is it possible to obtain a full set of diamond armor without crafting it? Yes. Master level armor of villagers will straight up trade you diamond armor. Which tools and armor would you say are worth upgrading to netherite? I would say all of them just for the durability increase. Why do foxes scream at night? Trust me, they do that in real life too. What mobs can you not make automatic farms for? More or less any mob can be farmed, it's just a question of how useful it is. Why do people use nether portals in their mob farms? Moving mobs to another dimension removes them from the mob cap in the overworld, allowing new ones to spawn quickly. Is there a way to mass produce diamond like an auto miner? Forget mining, villagers will trade you all the diamond tools and armor you want. Get deep enough into villager trading and you won't even need to go mining unless you want to make an enchanting table or a jukebox. I've heard that pillagers can steal things from chests, is that true? No, despite their name, pillagers do not steal things. How do you place doors on the front or back half of a block? Target the block, then the door is always placed closest to where you're standing. You can also control the hinges depending on which side of the block you're looking at. 
Are mobs killed with sweep attacks still affected by looting? Yes. What are some subtitles to look out for when exploring? Bat noises usually indicate there's an unlit cave nearby. Have you ever thought of making a guardian-powered squid farm just for the fun of it? It could be a fun project, but not very effective. Is it possible to get an enderman head using a charged creeper? No, the only mob heads obtainable in survival are zombies, skeletons, creepers, wither skeletons, and the dragon heads that you get from end ships. If you see anyone with any other mob heads, they're getting those from either a mod or a data pack. Will iron golems attack ghasts and other flying mobs? They can't really attack ghasts because it is difficult for them to track flying mobs, but anything else hostile is fair game. Why do gravity affected blocks break when they fall on a torch? They can't land in that block space because there's something already placed there. Should Minecraft add more trees and wood variants? And if yes, how could these be added? Well, they just added two new wood types in the nether, that's a good start. What is the safest way to kill guardians? With an invisibility potion or something that blocks their line of sight. We all know there's a nether roof, but is there a nether roof on top of the nether roof? No, there's just open sky like there is in the overworld. Is it possible for a village to spawn underground? They don't spawn underground, although I have seen some sections generate under some pretty big overhangs. How far do you need to be from an Elder Guardian to not be affected by mining fatigue? The radius for mining fatigue is about 50 blocks, but they only do it every minute or so. How do I bring hoglins to the overworld without them turning into zoglins? I'm pretty sure they convert no matter what, unless you've spawned them in with the immune to zombification tag. Can you move droppers or dispensers using pistons? Not in Java edition. How can can you tell if stone is infested or not? Silverfish stone breaks instantly, but you can look at it with the F3 debug screen to see if a block is technically a monster egg. Can Silk Touch pick up infested blocks of silverfish? Mining those blocks with Silk Touch just gives you the block of stone or stone bricks. It doesn't contain silverfish when you place it back down in the world. Is it possible to make a TNT duper with honey blocks? Unfortunately not, because you can't place detector rails or coral fans on honey blocks. Do axes do more damage? They do more damage per hit, but swords are faster, so they can technically do more damage per second. I heard you can break a Vindicator's axe and a Pillager's crossbow. Is that true? Pillager crossbows can break, but Vindicator axes cannot. Why isn't TNT duping patched? The developers have said they're fine with it existing because there really isn't an alternative right now, and the community has created some pretty amazing projects that wouldn't be possible without it. How do I disable rain and daylight cycles? Game rule do weather cycle false will switch off the weather, and do daylight cycle false will pause the time of day. Can shulkers get into a boat or a minecart? Yes, and that's how I transported these back to the overworld. What's What's the most efficient way to get multiple enchantments? Aim to get as many as possible from the enchantment table before you apply the rest using books. What level does emerald ore spawn at naturally? Anything below Y32 in mountain biomes. Why can't you put Silk Touch and Fortune together? Because they cancel each other out. You can't Silk Touch a block and break it down into resources. Why do beds explode in the nether or the end? Originally, it was just to prevent players from setting their spawn there. What is the profession table for butcher villagers? It's a smoker. If I'm holding a concrete powder block and I jump into water, will it turn into concrete? Nope, concrete has to be converted by being placed in or next to water. What is the maximum experience level a player can obtain? According to the Minecraft wiki, the maximum level of XP players can get in survival is 21,863, but you can get 2,147,483,647 levels using commands because the game stores experience as a 32-bit integer. How big is a Minecraft world in blocks? 60 million blocks wide, 60 million blocks long, 256 blocks tall. Is there some way to get spawn eggs in survival Minecraft? Not unless you count chicken eggs as spawn eggs. Why and how should one make a witch farm? Witches drop redstone, glowstone dust, gunpowder, and a couple of other useful drops. Like most farms, the trick is to optimize the spawn rates where the mob appears, in this case a witch hut, and find an efficient way to kill them. Can you make an AFK netherite ingot farm? This seems unlikely since netherite ingots can only be crafted or found in bastion loot chests. Will anyone be working on a 1.16 tick farm like they've done with AFK fish farms? No, because AFK fish farms were fixed by changing the criteria required to get treasure from fishing, whereas forcing plants to grow by zero ticking them was a bug that has been removed entirely. Can a village spawn in a mushroom biome? No, although if a mushroom biome overlaps with a biome that can generate a village, you might find parts of the village overlapping with the mushroom fields. How do you get each banner pattern in survival? Most of them are just in the loom by default. The ones you need to create the patterns for are creeper heads, wither skeleton skulls, oxide daisies, and enchanted golden apples, and the globe pattern which you can only trade from cartographers. Can you breed bees? Yes. Yes, bees are bred by feeding two of them flowers. Can bees pollinate off the same flower at the same time? Yes, they actually quite like to share flowers. Is it possible to make Elder Guardians respawn? Not without editing your world. How does lightning work? It strikes randomly during thunderstorms and can be targeted by players using the channeling enchantment on a trident. What's the deal with invisible spiders? 
On hard difficulty, spiders can spawn with potion effects like swiftness, strength, regen, and invisibility. How can you add arms to armor stands? On Java Edition, you'll need to use a command or a data pack that basically does the commands for you. On Bedrock Edition, they spawn with arms by default. Is it possible to make a working underwater submarine? Yeah, it's basically like an overworld flying machine. Needs a little bit more work before it's watertight, though. <laughs> what are some ways to protect yourselves from creeper explosions? Use a shield, wear blast protection armor, run away, get good with a bow. Will bastions replace the Nether Fortress in 116? Nope, Nether Fortresses are still very much a thing. What strategy do you use to find end cities? I usually explore randomly until I find the first one, then if I get hold of an elytra, I just fly in a straight line until I find more. What's an interesting piece of Minecraft general knowledge more people need to know? You can craft magma cream using slime balls and blaze powder. It's really useful if you need fire resistance potions, but you can't find a magma cube. How can you remove a panda from a boat? It's true, pandas do have a pretty large hitbox, but if you need to, you can always break the boat from underneath. What is the easiest way to find a jungle? If you don't want to use some mapping tools, you might find a jungle biome next to other warm biomes like deserts, savannas, or badlands. Why can't I use a sword to block? Sword blocking was removed from the game when shields were added. Use a shield! What is the most sensible thing to do on your first Minecraft night? Sleep! Or maybe go mining. What can you do with rabbit hide? Craft them in a 2x2 two two to get one leather. They're not used for anything else. Is every hostile mob attracted to turtle eggs? No, just the undead ones. Is there more than one ocean monument in a Minecraft world? Yes, sometimes they even generate in close proximity to each other. Can you remove Curse of Vanishing by putting it in a grindstone? Nope, curses cannot be removed unless you combine items in your crafting grid. Does Minecraft Java Edition run on Windows 10? If yes, then why does Minecraft Windows 10 Edition exist? Java runs just fine on Windows 10. Minecraft Windows 10 Edition is Bedrock Edition, which can cross-play with any other devices playing Bedrock Edition. It's like playing the Xbox version on your PC. Are there any biome finding tools for Bedrock Edition? I've heard Chunk Base works pretty well. Will you do a Bedrock Edition survival guide? I don't play Bedrock Edition regularly enough to understand it well enough to make a tutorial series. However, I do owe you guys a week of Bedrock Edition videos thanks to a charity livestream I did recently, so look out for that in July. What are the unique selling points for both Java and Bedrock Editions of the game? Bedrock Edition has multi-platform crossplay and the Minecraft Marketplace. Java Edition has free content, mods, spectator mode, and the ability to play previous versions through the launcher. Can you break Bedrock in Bedrock Edition the same way you did to get to the nether ceiling? <laughs> From what I understand, you can still get to the nether ceiling, <laughs> but you can't build anything up here, and the bedrock breaking methods that I've explained only work in Java anyway. Will you ever start a series on Minecraft Pocket Edition? No, I'm not really interested in recording or playing on mobile. The game mechanics are the same as Windows 10 Edition, though. How do you put a banner on a shield in Bedrock Edition? Right now, sadly, it isn't possible. You can only do it on Java. Just combine a banner with a shield in a crafting table. Why are Java Redstone and Bedrock Redstone different? They're coded in two different programming languages, each of which has its own quirks. Some of the stuff is still the same, though. So why do people hate on Bedrock Edition? I think mostly people are worried it's going to make Java Edition obsolete someday. But the devs have said that isn't happening. Are there statistics in Bedrock? Probably somewhere behind the scenes, since they used to track certain achievements, but there isn't a statistics screen like there is in Java. What's your favourite weapon you've used in Minecraft Dungeons? I'd say the gauntlets are some of my favourites. Will you do a Minecraft Dungeons guide? The mechanics are much more straightforward than regular Minecraft is, so I really don't see the point. What are the best AFK enchants on gear in Minecraft Dungeons? Get some armour with burning and final shout, maybe chilling too. Stand between the zombie spawners on redstone mines with three regen totems, and come back when you're level 150. What's the best armour in Minecraft Dungeons? Dungeons. I haven't found them all yet, but the fox armor is definitely my favorite. How many hours have you put into the survival guide world? 61.83 days, which comes out to about 1,484 hours. How many times have you died in the survival guide? 18 so far, looking forward to a lot more in the nether update. What's your favorite build so far in the survival guide? Built a mountain once, that was pretty good. When the mountain update comes out, do you plan on changing your mountain? Nope, I'd say I'd happy with it as is. Looking forward to goats, though. How do you set up and use your camera account on your world? It's a second Minecraft account logged into a separate instance of Minecraft, running on the same PC and connected to the world via LAN. Do you prefer building or redstone? I am much more of a builder, but I definitely see the value in technical stuff now. Why don't you play with shaders permanently on? I'm fine using shaders for the cinematic segments, but I really want this series to look like the same Minecraft experience everyone else has. What's your favorite music disc? Probably Cats, but Pig Step is really good too. Do you wish there were auto crafters in Minecraft? Not really. I'm okay with crafting being a necessary part of the grind. Thoughts on extreme hills biomes? Eh, they're all right. Why aren't you using the snapshots and showing us how to play 116? Features in development snapshots are unstable and change all the time. I don't want to make a tutorial about something that could change by the next release. What happened to Minecraft Earth? I still really like Minecraft Earth and they've made better ways for players to play at home. I just prefer playing it outside and I haven't been able to go outside much. What happened to the micro builds part of the survival guide world? As you can see, it still exists. It's just the micro build idea never really 
took off. Will you ever build a village in the nether and populate it with villagers? Yes, I, I was planning on doing this sooner as well, but the nether update seemed like a better time to do it. Have you ever considered speedrunning Minecraft? Not seriously, I enjoy watching speedruns, but I get too distracted by cool stuff when I play. Why do you play single player and not multiplayer? I have really enjoyed the challenge of having to build everything in a Minecraft world. I wouldn't have learned to build half of these resource farms if there were other people on the server building them instead. Which is better when it comes to spacing in builds, even or odd numbers. I find odd numbers much easier to work with, especially for roof designs. What are your plans for the nether dimension when you update the world to 1.16? The nether update should be out tomorrow and I'll have an episode where I explain my plans for adapting to the new terrain. Is the mountain update still going to be a thing? Yes, according to the developers, it's happening in the next release after the nether update. Do you think that in the future Minecraft will ever be complete? I kind of hope not. But if mods have proven anything, it's that any idea can be applied to Minecraft. What can you do to mesh all the different styled areas together? Build interesting terrain between them. If you could add another dimension to Minecraft, what would it be? I really, really like the Twilight Forest mod, so probably that one. Do you think that iron farms should stay in the game? Frankly, yes. It'd be very difficult to do large-scale redstone builds without them, because the amount of mining you'd need to get that number of hoppers is astronomical. When did you start getting into building? Basically, as soon as I started Minecraft on the Xbox 360. Once I learned more about the game, the first objective I gave myself was building a house at all four corners of the map. What are you looking forward to most in the new update? Warped forest biomes are the coolest looking things to me. Fire spread, on or off? I switch it off because I like the flexibility of building with fire and I don't want my builds to burn down thanks to lightning strikes. What's next for the survival guide? Exploring the nether update and then starting on the museum project. Are you planning to answer 404 questions? Given the length of this video, Probably not. But that is it for this episode of the Minecraft Survival Guide. I do hope you've enjoyed it. 303 questions. Thank you so much for submitting them all. It truly means a lot. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Nether update. Bye for now.